Hello again right there. It is beautiful to have you back on this channel. This channel was created basically for tutorials, okay, to help make your online learning very easy and simple. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, do that right now. We'll be sending out beautiful videos, rich videos, educative videos that will help you on your online business career. So let's get right in. In this video, I want to teach you how to put your business on Google, even if you don't have a website. How to make your business show up on Google when people are looking for the kind of business that you do, even if you don't have a website. Google has made it simple and possible for you to show up on Google search results, okay? Now, one beautiful thing about Google My Business is that when people are, are on, on Google, when people search for things on Google, these are people who want to make a buy buying decision right immediately, okay? They have made up their mind to purchase that particular product, and that is why they are looking for it online. Unlike social media, Facebook, WhatsApp, um, Instagram, Twitter, and all the rest of them, people go there to socialize, right? Most times they don't have a buying intent, and then you just show up in their face. So it is easier for you to have sales coming from Google because people who are coming to your site on Google are people who want to make a buying decision and are really seriously searching for what you do right now if you look at my screen you would see here are some businesses i have listed from this particular account this i have about eight business here already verified already verified businesses real life businesses succeeding businesses okay already succeeding in this particular account all right so i'm going to be working you step by step how you can put your business right here like this other people and begin to show up on Google instantly verified. Okay, so let's dive right in. For this tutorial, I'll be using an imaginary, an imaginary rice meal. Okay, I'll be creating a profile for an imaginary rice meal. Now, before now, it was so easy. There was a Google My Business app. You will just download it and then um, open your mobile app or wherever from wherever, and follow the promptings, and you have your business immediately listed. Okay, but these days it is no longer like that. Google has brought a change in this place. So it, the, the step has changed. And now I want to encourage you, if you have that app in your phone, delete it right away so that it doesn't complicate the process for you as you work in this journey with me. All right, so what we're going to be doing here, now for a simple business, for a small business who have only one location, okay, but offer businesses, um, offer services here and there, you're going to be creating a Google business profile, all right? But for, a biz for big businesses that have multiple locations, you're going to be creating a profile manager app or um, a profile manager right sorry don't, don't, don't mind my errors okay now um for this tutorial we're going to be creating an online presence a google presence for a small business with one location but probably offer services here and there okay so come with me let's dive right in now on your browser you want to click on the search and type and type my business or google my business you may want to type google my business or just type my business whichever one you type is going to work all right so um, i have this i'm going to let it search all right now you want to click on this place on the first option google business profile okay get listed on google i'm going to click on that so you can see i'm going to click on manage now right so these are businesses that i already manage okay and then i'm going to click on this plus if you don't have businesses you already manage it's not going to show up this way okay you probably see somewhere somewhere at the top here telling you to add a profile okay at the top you may probably see a blue writing telling you to add um to to add a business sorry to create a profile or add a profile whatever thing it may be okay so now for this i'm going to click on this plus icon and I'll click here where it says add a business. Not on the right top, but on the icon, the plus icon, okay? If I click on this right top now, it will take me to what is displaying under it. I'm going to click on here, this plus icon. So, now if you, if, you are, if you are not sure whether your business is already listed on Google, you can type right here and put in the name of the business that you think that you are not sure about and search for it. If not, you want to click on this place. Look at the screen and see a pointer moving okay you want to click on add your business to google so i'm going to click on it and then i'll type in the name i'm going to create an imaginary rice meal business okay so i'm going to give you the name beam beam rice meal please um avoid the urge to put all your names 
in caps lock, in capital letters, it may not get approved, okay? You want to use a sentence case. That is a combination of capital and small letters or small letters throughout, okay? Now, business category. My business category, I'm going to put something and get a guide. All right, I even have it here, good and fine. Now, if you don't find yours here, you want to search for a better description that Google has given to it, okay? Suppose you have... Um, um, maybe you are creating a business for a makeup firm and you search for makeup, you don't find it. You want to look for something really, really close, okay? Like um, cosmetics, okay? Cosmetics or beauty. Whichever one you choose, you likely find it here. So I have my rice meal here, so I'm going to click rice meal. Okay, select next. Do you want to add a location customers can visit, like a store or office? It is important that you choose yes, Okay. The essence of Google My Business is basically Google wants to direct people to your office. Basically, people want to, um, Google wants people around your area to be able to find you online. That is the reason they are making provision for you to appear on Google free of charge. Okay, whether you have a virtual business or you have a physical offline office, okay, you want to use a location. Add a location. I repeat, add a location. If not, verification is going to be very difficult for you. Very, very difficult for you. You're going to be have, you're going to have to wait for a postcard that will never come, a mail that will never come. Okay. A lot of people have their businesses registered here with Google My Business, but it is not verified. If you are not, you can see all the businesses I showed you earlier are all verified. This is the trick. So even if you are not offering a physical service or you don't have a physical office, choose yes. You may want to put your house address, and then there is a way we'll go about it. You may want to choose. Definitely, people are going to have to call you before coming to, to look for you or something. I know you're afraid of having people come to look for you in the house or whatever, right? You want to choose a physical location, a real-life location, maybe somewhere around your street, not exactly your house. This is very, very important for your verification to be successful. So I'm going to click on yes and click next. What's the address? Of course, this tutorial is being done from Nigeria and our original address, our original region is Nigeria, okay? So street address, I'm going to use maybe this. I created this for someone, okay? I'm going to be using this, all right? Now, local government is Onisha South. Onisha South, all right? This is the street. This is the local government where the street is located. I created this. I'm, I'm sure I used this address for someone, for someone's business, okay? I don't really remember, but... I use this for someone's visit. That is why it popped up so quickly. Uh, that is really going to help our tutorial be faster, okay? Now, you want to use your own address, your own street address in this place. Enter your local government here. Which city is this located? I'm going to put Onisha, all right? And then the postal code. You will need to browse your, the postal code for your particular area. As narrow as possible. As close as to you as possible, okay? As close as to you as possible. You want to look for the postal code of the area where your business is located. All right, even if you don't have a, a physical um, office. So you go to the browser, search for, if you are in Ikeja, if you are in Lakey Phase 1, you want to search for postal code for Lakey Phase 1, all right? So you search for that and get the, uh, the correct code for it. Which state is this in? The state is in Anambra, and then we'll click next. All right. Do you provide deliveries or home and office visits? It depends on the kind of business you do. I own a rice mill, so I won't be doing home deliveries or office visits, okay? So for that, you're going to say no. But if you don't, if you do, if you do offer such kind of VM services, you want to click yes. Let's try it and see what shows up. Next. Okay, here you're going to add the areas where you offer additional services, all right? Other areas outside that particular office you chose, that particular um, location, that you chose earlier places outside here okay if you're if you are into cosmetics and you you do makeup for people in their houses you're going to add the areas where you are able to go to in this place okay if you are into your selling home items you're selling kitchen items and you do home delivery services you want to click yes in the previous page and in this place include the areas you are able are you serving the whole nigeria you want to do that here you want to put them here are you serving the whole of Kogi State, you want to put it here. Are you serving the whole of Enugu State? You want to put it here. Are you serving only a particular area in Enugu State or in Pladu State? You want to put that area here, okay? And then when you do, you click on next. But I'm going to go back so that I can correct this. 
The option I want to choose is no. All right. So your contact, your phone address, your phone number. You want to put that phone number here. Put your correct phone number. It is going to help. Our business phone number is 0813. Am I right? Let me remember this phone number now. 0810-731-9303. You really need to be as accurate as possible. Do you have a website? If you have a website, you put the URL here. If you don't have a website, you want to choose this place. I don't have a website. Google is going to automatically generate a mini website for you based on the information you have provided here. Is that okay? So when you do that, you click on next. So choose a way to be verified. Okay, choose a way to verify. In order to fully manage and represent this business on Google, you will need to confirm that it is yours. A lot of persons don't get this privilege. If you have chosen no, in, um, in the previous session where I asked you to make sure you put yes, concerning having a physical location. If you had chosen no, you will never have this option. You will never have this option to be verified via phone number, call, um, or text. It is not possible. It is never going to call. Okay? So, text is beautiful. Sometimes when you choose call, they may call and um, maybe your number doesn't go through or something, or maybe your line wasn't connecting. Whatever For whatever reason, it may not be successful. Okay? And then, um, that option is gone. And then you begin to try text, and if it doesn't, if it isn't successful, it will, it will be gone. You will have to wait till the next 24 hours for you to be able to verify again. So I'm going to advise you from the first time to choose text. Okay, it makes the process a whole lot easier. A code is going to come in right now, and I will enter that code here. You can see very fast, very quickly it has come. Okay, if you didn't add a physical address, this code will never come, and you will be told. You'll be, you'll, be, you'll be getting it via a postal code. We all know how postal services work here in Nigeria, okay? It may never, it may take months and months and months and will never come, okay? So add a physical address, whether you have one or not, it is very much important for you. So I am going to enter this code here and click on verify. Very good. My code is accepted and my account is being verified by Google. It is going to be live in just a few minutes in just a few minutes okay so i'm going to continue the process i'll click on next when do you offer services which times which hours which days which hours do you offer your services when are you open okay that is what this section is basically all about so do you work in Saudis? this is a rice meal it's a factory i'm going to be working both day and night both day and night i'm going to have workers this is an imaginary business right i'm going to have my, um, workers who work during the day um, the work day shift and they go home and another set of people will work the night shift because it is a factory okay it's a factory it will be open all the time so sunday yes sunday is open what time do you open on sundays i'll put here okay these are sample what time do you open on sunday 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 is the day of service for most persons who are christians okay so i'm gonna say i'm gonna say Let's take 12 p.m. Yeah, a lot of persons must have gone to work. Our workers must have returned from work, from church, rather. Okay. I open at 12 p.m. and I close at 12 a.m. Okay, that is for Sunday. All right. Now, on Monday, I'll put 24 hours. Okay. So, I am open 24 hours, so there is no closing time. On Tuesday, if you are not 24 hours, when you enter a time here when you open, you want to enter another one here where you close, okay? So for Tuesday, I also do 24 hours. For Wednesday, I do 24 hours. This is a rice meal. It's a factory, right? So we work 24 hours. You have to be accurate as possible because people are going to be looking for you. to um, they, they want to patronize you. At that particular hour, they are searching for you. You need to make sure you are available, okay? If you are not open that day, simply tell them you are not available. So Monday, Wednesday, 24 hours. Thursday, 24 hours hours thursday 24 hours friday 24 hours saturday 24 hours hmm. <laughs> our workers will be must be very very hard working okay i'm sure we'll pay them very well okay so 24 hours and then we'll put next Customize profile, add messaging. Now there is the new feature, a new feature in this Google profile, in this business profile, is that you are able to receive messages, including WhatsApp messages. Okay, we receive lots and lots of WhatsApp messages from Google My Business. 
All right. So this feature is very important. You show sure make make sure if it is this way, make sure you tick it, and then click next. Add your business description. Okay. Now in this place, I will recommend you make your keyword search. This is um a rice meal. We're gonna be make we're gonna make sure we have words like um, food, grain, or rather long grain rice. Okay. We're gonna make sure we have words like um delicious or whatever healthy healthy rice. Okay. In this description, these are words that people will be looking for. We're gonna make sure that we have rice meal, and this rice meal is located in Olisha. We're going to make sure that we put those words here. This is part, this is very important for your search engine optimization. This is very important for you to be relevant and appear when people are searching for what is related to your business. Okay, don't go there, speak too many English. Make sure you choose the right words and don't be spammy. Don't stuff too many related words together. It is going to be recognized as spammy and your account may be banned. Okay, don't put too many words. Or related make sure that it looks very natural very natural as possible all right so let's go i'm going to describe this business now i'll say beam global be, i'm sorry beam rice meal because people may be searching for the word beam rice meal okay beam rice meal is a rice a long grain rice milling company in Odisha. Producing healthy stone free. Okay. A lot of locally made rice in Nigeria have chaff and stone. Okay. So this is going to be one of our selling points. Producing healthy it is going to be chaff and stone free, not stone and chaff free, okay? Because many persons will be looking for stone free rice. If you choose stone and chaff free rice, a lot of persons don't search for chaff free rice, okay? Marketing is so psychological. You want to make sure that you, you consider all the psychological aspects of your customer. I'm not going to choose chaff free, I'm sorry, right? Um, I'm not going to choose stone and chaff free. I'm going to choose chaff. I hope I spell this correctly. Chaff. Producing healthy chaff and stone free, stone free rice for delicious cookie or probably maybe delicious meal. This is an imaginary business, okay? On a good day, I'll have better words to put here. healthy chaff and stone free rice for okay ready for consumption i'm gonna leave it this way i believe it's beautiful okay it's beautiful already now you have up to um 750 words that you can add in your description okay Remember to keep it natural as possible and make sure that you use keywords keywords that are related to your business i'll click on next all right, now in this place, you want to add your business logo, related pictures, and all the rest of them. I don't have all those stuffs in my phone because this is an imaginary business, but I'm just going to add something. Okay, so click on add photo. All right, I'll click on uh, select photos from your computer. We'll go to browse. We'll go to browse. And... Um, Maybe I'll choose this, something related to food, okay? It's loading, okay? So I'm gonna be making use of just one for now. If you wanna add more, you click here again, okay? And when you're done, click next. Your edits will be visible once you are verified, okay? Um, my verification is already taking place. I'm gonna click on continue. Oops, do you see it? Do you see it? My business. It's going to be live soon. Already it is live. You can see it here. So this is Beam Rice Meals. Already showing on Google. Okay. Now if I go back and search, <coughs> let's say Rice Meals in Onisha or Rice Meals near Onisha. Basically, when people are using Google My Business, um, they usually search stuff like Salon near me. Okay. It is going to show you results 
based on your location, based on the location that, um, of your phone as at the time that you are searching. Okay, so it is not if um, my business is here in Onisha, or if my business is um, here in Mesopotamia, or my business is here in, um, trying to remember names and names and names. If my business is here in Ogoja, okay, someone searching for rice meals in Lakey may not find me. Most of the persons who will likely find me are people within Ogoja who are looking for rice meals. Okay, so Google uses your location to show your business to people nearest to you who are searching for your business and are likely to patronize you immediately, immediately. Okay, so I'm going to be searching for rice meals. I am not in Indonesia, so I'm not going to be using near me because if I use near me, it will show me results in my current location. Okay, rice meals near Onisha. Let's see how competitive this business is in that particular area. We're going to be seeing lots of results, okay? So this is Jesus' wife. Wow, <laughs> what a name. And this one is Anambra Rice Mills Limited. Flory Super Rice, okay? You keep going down, keep going down. Ours is going to be far, far down because all these people have been in business before us and our, ours is not yet verified. Not yet verified. This is where... Um, this is where... Sorry. This is where optimization comes right in, okay? Or let me search for Beam Rice Mills. I'm going to search for beam rice meals on Google. I'm on Google now. This is Chrome. Okay. Beam rice meals. Let's see the results. Okay. So our business isn't showing up yet because it is not yet verified. Once we get verified, we will be able to see it showing up here. Beam rice meals. It's not yet verified. Once it is verified, we're going to have it here. Okay. I'm going to close this video and come back later. When I come back later, you're going to see I actually did all the very um, necessary procedures, okay? So this business is real. And it, if you search for it anytime on Google before I delete it, you're going to see it. Immediately it gets verified. Maybe in the next 30 minutes, one hour, or maybe two days, three days, if you search for Beam Rice Meals, you're going to find it here in this page. Okay, it is not yet verified. That is why we are seeing this one. So you see why it is very important for your business to be verified. If you don't get verified, you are only wasting your time. Your business may not be, you may not have all the, um, you may not have all the access. All right. So now I'm going to close this page and use an already verified business for an example to show us how your website is going to look like. Okay. So um, I'll click here and manage now. I'm trying to open our Beam Global, our Beam Global page. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, this is Beam Rice Mills, okay? I think I have another business on that particular location. That is why it is being difficult. Okay, we've got to verify already. You can see it here. We've got to verify already. So this is Beam Global. Beam Global. This business is already verified. Let me just go straight and show you something. Beam Global. Beam Glow, sorry, Beam Glow Bows. You will show up on Google, and I want to show you a sample website that you're going to be getting from from Google. Okay. Oh so, yeah, 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 yeah. What is happening? Beam Glow Bows. This name is actually very competitive. A lot of persons are using it, and we didn't find out on time. Okay. So when choosing your business name, you want to choose names that are less competitive on Google. Beam. Beam Global. Please save us the stress and come out really fast. So, this is Beam Global. This is our business here. Okay. So, this is Beam Global. 14. Okay. I want to show you the mini website that was created for us by Google. Um, Sorry, I'm taking so much time. Beam Global is a marketing agency in Onisha. Okay. Manage this business. What is happening? All right, I'll click on overview. Oh, I'm using, I'm using the wrong account to search for this. That is why I am unable to access certain features 
fast enough. So, this is the mini website created for us by Google My Business. Okay, I'll click on see all. This is the, um, the mini website created for us by, by Google. All right, so it is that beautiful. It is that beautiful. It is that beautiful, okay? So if you don't have a website, Google automatically creates one for you. Now, I'm going to search for the website now. I'm going to type in the URL so that you see it is a real website. HTTPS slash slash um, beam globals um, beam globals dot business dot site this is the website they created for us i hope i'm correct i didn't make any mistake somewhere so this is the particular street where this business is located all right i was searching for this business on google map i used um I said I use Google Maps to search for this website. Okay, but on a normal Chrome, on a normal Chrome, let's go back. We we'll click here and click on https slash slash beam globals. I, I did that search on Google Maps. Okay, I'm doing this one now from normal Chrome browser. I mean from search um from Google search. So it is going to take us on to the website. So this is the website that Google created for us. Okay. Something simple and actually beautiful with all these sections and the posts that we have made. Okay. From this place, if, suppose I want to get direction. I want to get direction to this business. It's showing me the results. Okay. From my current location, it is showing me how to get to this particular address. Okay. Let's go back. The less okay we are here now we are here and it even has a whatsapp button that when people land on this page i want to contact you immediately they can click here and land to your inbox on whatsapp okay you can see that already it's loaded once it loads it should bring you to whatsapp so that is it um that's how beautiful it is i think that's everything we need to know right here that's everything we need to know right here if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do that right now and please try out these steps and show us your business send us the link so we can see your business let's see what you have been able to do thus far okay with google my business see you in the next video